What's up guys, thanks for checking out the video and welcome back to my little Subaru only shop here in Northern California. In today's video, I'm gonna dive into Subaru oil pans. I've got the older style oil pan right here with that flat bottom and we're gonna compare it to this newer style oil pan that I have right here. It's got that narrow bottom. This is a new style oil pan, the Subaru, redesigned around 2007. I'm going to walk through all the differences between this old style oil pan and this new style oil pan. In addition to talking about all the differences between that older oil pan and this new style oil pan, I'm also going to walk you guys through all the different accessories you need to pick up if you're going to upgrade from that older style oil pan to this new style oil pan. So thanks for checking out the video guys. I'm Luke. This is the Subaru Only Show. This is my little Subaru only shop. It's a DIY Subaru channel. It's a channel where all I do is Subaru builds and race Subaru vehicles and motorsport events. It's a DIY themed channel where I walk you guys through the steps to get your Subarus back on the road and hopefully do a little racing of your own. So thanks for checking out the video guys. I really appreciate it. Okay guys, I'm gonna start by just doing an overview of what these oil pans look like from the outside. This oil pan here on my left, that's the older style. And as you can see, this older style oil pan has a much wider base to it. And that allows a lot more oil to accumulate on that bottom of that oil pan in a much broader, wider area. And this newer style oil pan here on the right has a completely different design. As you can see on this oil pan, it's got this whole kicked in section right here, which creates a much narrower, but slightly deeper area for that oil to accumulate. And the reason they've done that is because this is the area where the oil pickup is located inside the oil pan. When you have a deeper, narrower channel for that oil pickup, there's actually less chance for that pickup to suck up any air when the oil gets pushed over to the side of the oil pan. So right off the bat, that's one of the fundamental differences between this newer style oil pan here on the right and that older style oil pan here on the left. And I'll flip these oil pans over so you can see what the differences are on the inside as well. Okay, I'll flip these oil pans over and I've kept them in the same orientation. This one on the right is a new style oil pan. It's on 2007 and later Subarus. And this one on the left is the older style oil pan. And as you can see, both these oil pans have the same bolt pattern and they have the exact same location for that dipstick. Okay, so let's start with a close-up view of the internal baffling on the old style oil pan. If I zoom into the old style oil pan, you can actually see there's actually two layers here with that baffling or two levels. There's this top level right here, there's a second level right here, and there's actually the bottom level down there where the oil pickup is actually sitting. And I'll rotate around so you can get a better idea of all the different channels and the cutouts and where the drainage ports are on this older style oil pan. All right, that's the older style oil pan. Okay, and as we zoom into the newer style oil pan, one of the first things you're gonna notice is that the oil baffling is quite a bit different. It doesn't actually have that two layer or two platform design. It actually has one platform right here for the oil to collect and drain in, and then it goes all the way down, directly down to where the pickup is. And in addition to that, on this side, where the oil drains back, it doesn't drain back to any of the platforms. Over here, where the oil drains back, it will drain straight down, all the way down to where the pickup is. It's a straight shot right to the pickup over here. As compared to this older style, if you have any draining here, it's gonna drain on this first platform, and then it can actually drain to a second platform, and then it can get down to the pickup. So that's one of the biggest differences on this newer style oil pan. This portion of the oil pan has a direct drain route from the top area all the way down to the bottom where the pickup is located. And then you'll also see that these cutouts are much bigger in this newer style oil pan. When I compare it over here, I'll jump back over here. There's just a small cutout right here and a cutout right here but on the new style, it's one large cutout. And then same down here, it's a little bit larger cutout. If you look on the older style oil pan, there's no cutout right there. Their cutout is actually right here at the very bottom. On the new style, there's a big cutout right here, and then there's really no cutout right here, but there's a little slit where it can drain back. And I suspect that's because there's not a lot of drainage happening right there. So that's the main differences between the internal baffling of this newer style oil pan and that older style oil pan. I'll do a little close-up view so you guys can kind of take a look at all the different layers in the baffling of this oil pan. That way you have a better idea if you wanna consider getting one of these oil pans for your Subaru and making this upgrade.
Now, if you guys are thinking about doing this upgrade from the old style oil pan to this newer style oil pan from 2007 or greater, I definitely recommend you guys think about upgrading your oil pickup as well. This oil pickup is actually a Killer Bee oil pickup that I did a review video on a couple weeks ago. Take a look at that video if you want to know why you want to upgrade that factory pickup to one of these aftermarket welded pickups. Because it's a really important upgrade for any Subaru engine, especially a Subaru that's going to be seeing any track or off-road duty. But in addition to considering upgrading that oil pickup when you upgrade your oil pan, there's actually a couple other parts you have to upgrade anytime you upgrade your oil pan. There's actually three other additional items that you need to upgrade at the same time. And those are right here to my left. You have to upgrade the dipstick, and that's the part number for the newer style dipstick, 11140AA150. And when you replace this dipstick, you're also gonna have to replace the tube that goes along with it. And that's right here. This is the new dipstick tube. It's part number 15144AA011. That's the second item. And then the third item is actually this right here. This is the baffle that bolts up to the bottom of the engine. And the part number for this baffle is actually 10915AA010. And I'll mention right now, another option for the baffle would actually be that aftermarket Killer B baffle. That baffle costs about $80, but this factory baffle, I think is only about $20 or $25. So I just went with this factory one for right now. And then as far as the oil pan and the part number for this oil pan, that's actually right here. And that part number is 11109AA151. So that's a part number for this 2007 and later redesigned Subaru oil pan. Okay guys, so that's all the parts you're gonna need if you're gonna upgrade that oil pan. And like I mentioned earlier, definitely consider upgrading that oil pickup at the same time. What you're looking at behind me is actually a new addition to my shop, and it's going to be a new addition to my DIY Subaru videos. I actually installed this big curved monitor in my DIY Subaru shop over last week, and I'm going to start using this monitor to add more information in these DIY videos. Because after all, these DIY videos are all about packing in as much information as I can. And with this monitor, we can actually go to websites, we can go to manufacturers' websites, we can go to Facebook pages, we can check out some of the newest news on Subaru products, we can check out some of the different information that the internet has available to these products that I'm talking about in these DIY videos. That way, I can add one more layer of information to these DIY videos and hopefully save you guys a little time so you don't have to go to these websites yourself and do all the research on your own. Now for this video, where we're talking about Subaru oil pans and we're comparing that old style oil pan to the new style oil pan from around 2007 where Subaru transitioned and upgraded those oil pans, there's actually a great blog on the Killer Bee Motorsports website that I wanted to show you guys. So let's go ahead and check out some of the information in this blog. That way, you guys get a little bit more information in this video. And the first thing I'll mention is actually the website address. This website address is www.killerbmotorsport.net, not .com, .net. So that's their website. Periodically, they actually do blogs, and they actually happen to do a blog on this oil pan issue. So here's the four oil pans that they're showing in this blog. This oil pan in the back right here, that's actually the Killer Bee hand-fabricated and welded oil pan. And then these other three oil pans, these black ones, they're all Subaru OEM oil pans. Know your Subaru WRX or STI oil pan. Okay, basically starts off with a little preface right here. And what they're basically saying in this preface is that all the information in this blog is really referring to US domestic model part numbers, but you might find these same part numbers on European models or Japanese domestic market models. And then they go into a little background and they explain what the problem is with these oil pans and why Subaru had to redesign them and why Killer B decided to make their own oil pan to help solve this problem. And I'll go ahead and dive into this background for you. Subaru oiling systems have evolved over time since the introduction of the EJ engine, since its introduction in 1989. From a performance perspective, improvements have been made and a general statement can be made that more recent versions offer performance advantage over older versions. This follows a performance progression over time as the WRX and the STI models have increased performance. As far as which oil pan will fit which engine, all EJ engines are the same from the bottom. They all share the same oil pan mating surface geometry and oil pickup mating surface geometry and all the same bolt patterns. If changing to a newer style oil pan, you must always use the oil pickup made for that newer style pan, not for the year of the engine. And that's something I actually talked about earlier in the video. And the same holds true for the dipstick and the dipstick tube. And that's also something we went over in this video. Okay, and then they get into an overview, and I'll scroll up a little bit. 
and they're talking about these two OEM oil pans. It looks like they drilled a little hole in this factory one. And this is actually the factory one with a wide bottom that I talked about earlier in the video. And this is actually one of the ones that has that little kicked out section that has a narrower, deeper channel for the pickup to sit in. And I also showed you that one earlier in the video, but this is not the exact one I have. Okay, so these are the most, that's what it's showing here, and I'll zoom out a little bit. So these are the three most popular Subaru OEM oil pans, and this is actually that Killer B oil pan. This is that flat bottom oil pan that's before 2007. This is actually the ones that were redesigned after around that 2007 year. They all have the same bolt flange pattern, the same dipstick location, and the same orientation. They all use an M20 drain plug, and they all use liquid adhesive gaskets. So that's what's similar between all these oil pans. And then they actually show all four oil pans here. And this is a great example to see how the baffles that I have in the newer style oil pan that I showed you earlier in the video are really quite similar to the way the baffling is in that aftermarket Killer B aluminum oil pan. As you can see right here, that's that section where all the oil that can drain straight down to the very bottom, right to the pickup, and that's exactly what the Killer B one is doing as well. All the oil right here can drain straight down to where the pickup is. So the geometry of the baffles in that Killer B oil pan is actually quite similar to the geometry of all the baffles in that newer Subaru designed oil pan. Okay, they'll move down and they'll talk about the exterior details. And there's another shot where you can kind of see from the bottom what all these oil pans look like. And I'll go ahead and read this section to you. Here you can see that some pans have what's commonly called a kicked in or tub section, while other older versions have that flat bottom section. And here's that flat bottom section for the older one, and here's that kicked in section that actually the, the, these two newer ones have and that Killer B one has. The flat bottom section allows the oil to move around the bottom of the pan a lot more versus the newer versions that keep the oil deeper and near the oil pickup. So that's basically the same thing that I was talking about earlier in the video. And then they go on to say that the flat bottom style allows for a little bit more ground clearance, but that the advantage to the newer tub versions is that they actually allow for a higher performance twin scroll equal length OEM manifolds or aftermarket equal length headers to be used on your engine. So that's actually another advantage that I didn't even point out earlier. If you switch from that flat earlier style oil pan to this kicked in section newer style oil pan that I'm actually upgrading to, you can actually use a wider variety of aftermarket headers, especially those equal length headers that are on the market. And those equal length headers will actually give you a good 25 or 30 horsepower on a pretty healthy engine. Okay, let's go on down and talk about the baffles. Okay, in the baffle section, here's what they're actually saying for the baffles. There are some stark differences in the baffles of these oil pans. Older versions use two horizontal baffles and in newer versions use a more direct flow through path. And that's exactly what I was talking about earlier in this video, where that older style actually has two separate platforms for that oil to drain to before it gets down to the very bottom where that oil pickup is at the bottom of the oil pan. The horizontal baffles help with oil control at lower cornering speeds and allow for increased ground clearance, but they also have performance downsides. And they're referring to that older style flat bottom oil pan. Under more severe cornering and accelerating, the oil can actually pool on the horizontal baffles, preventing good flow to the bottom of the oil pan and into the oil pickup inlet. Conversely, the tub pan design allows for more direct oil flow to the bottom of the oil pan. This is why earlier generation WRXs tended to have more oil related issues, especially on the track. So according to this blog written by Killer B, the earlier style oil pan actually caused more problems for Subarus on the racetracks because of this design and the lack of oil that the pickup was able to draw in. Okay, and then we're going down and there's a little section right here talking about splitting hairs. What they're talking about here is really that the two kicked in designs, the two modern designs of that oil pan are really quite similar. And what they believe really happened was that Subaru was just trying to save a little costs. So they redesigned it to have the same level of performance, but a little bit less material costs. And therefore they saved a little bit of money and they made a little bit more profit. So that's actually what they're saying in that little splitting hairs section. Here at the end here, they have a performance section. I'll go ahead and read this to you guys. At some level of performance, the OEM oil pan will not be able to provide adequate oil supply to the engine. A Killer B Motorsport oil pan will provide a reliable supply of oil under the most severe track conditions. The additional plus 30% volume helps keep oil temperatures in check and maintains a good oil condition. The second MPD drain port can be used for oil temperature monitoring or for a quick change oil valve. The Killer B Motorsport Performance Oil Pan is welded aluminum providing a stronger and lighter pan than the OEM and is completely made in the USA. And then we'll end on a nice little shot of that Killer B Motorsport Oil Pan. I'll zoom in a little bit for you guys on that sucker. That is a beautiful, beautiful oil pan, I have to say. 
But like I showed you guys earlier, the oil control in the baffles in the redesigned Subaru oil pan is actually really similar to this Killer B Motorsport aftermarket oil pan. And even though this oil pan is definitely a better option, it has 30% more volume and it's stronger and lighter than the OEM oil pan, this oil pan will actually cost you a lot more money. So if cost is a big concern, you might want to think about that because this oil pan, I believe, runs in the range of about $500. But that redesigned Subaru OEM oil pan is somewhere in the range of $85 or $90. So even though this oil pan is definitely a better option, it's also going to cost you a hell of a lot more money than that factory upgraded oil pan. And that factory upgraded oil pan is definitely going to solve a lot of the problems with that original oil pan design. Okay guys, so that's basically all the parts and all the part numbers that you need to know if you're going to upgrade your oil pan from that old style oil pan to this newer style oil pan. This is a really good upgrade to do because like I said earlier in the video, that older style oil pan allows that oil to get pushed up to the side of that oil pan and under certain conditions, especially when you're on the track or you're under any kind of extreme driving conditions, that oil can ride so far up on the inside of that oil pan that the oil pickup will actually suck up air and if that oil pickup actually sucks up in the air, you're gonna spin a bearing and you're gonna to toast that engine and you're gonna need a total engine rebuild. So this is a really good upgrade to do anytime you're rebuilding your engine because this is one step and one measure that could prevent that engine from losing a bearing and needing to get rebuilt at a later time. And that's basically one of the fundamental principles that I'm trying to apply when I'm doing this engine build for this EJ205 engine. I'm trying to address all the fundamental flaws that this engine had at the time it was manufactured with either new redesigned parts by Subaru or aftermarket parts that are made better than the Subaru parts so that this engine is more reliable and I can avoid some of the common fatal issues that happen to these Subaru motors when it comes to oiling and lubrication. That's definitely one of the Achilles heels of these motors. And with this upgraded oil pan, in one of these aftermarket oil pickups, you're definitely eliminating one of those fatal flaws of this engine design. So thank you so much for checking out the video guys. In the next video, I'm actually gonna bolt all these parts on to my EJ205 engine build. It's gonna be swapped into my 1998 RS Coupe. But for now, I'm gonna wrap it up there for today guys. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If you liked the video, please give it a like. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Thanks again for joining me in my little Subaru Only shop here in Northern California. I'm Luke. This is a Subaru Only show. Until next time, later guys.